All right, we got our first bass. Just kind of walk it down that way. Nice. Take your time. That's a good one. Heck yeah. Oh, quick release. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. Way to go. Good right. job. Oh, my God. God, I want to get my hands on that thing. That one. Got one. There you go. Let me. Oh. There you go. <laughs> right here? Yep. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Look at that thing. There dude. you go. I think this is the biggest fish I've ever caught. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get bigger, yeah, but, right, but good, that's good. a good start. Good. That's oh, a good start. Fucker is. Ho ho. That's a god! Oh my god! Look at that giant! Oh, come on! We gotta get him in! Do not force him. Just bring him right over to me. Oh, that's gorgeous! Oh my god! Look at that! Bring him right here! Right here! Right here! five to six pounds I I, I I wish my uh, scale was working because I would have liked to measure that but I, I I would venture to say that that was I know for sure it was five if not more you got another nice one right yeah and you got some rock bass and a big perch and uh, tell me a little bit Chico about uh, your service what so I, uh, I joined the Marine Corps in 2004. I went to boot camp in June uh, of 2004. Um, after that, I went to infantry, uh, the School of Infantry in Camp Pendleton. And from there, I was uh, stationed with 1st Battalion, 5th Marines out of Camp Pendleton. With them, I stayed with them for a good six years of my career. I did uh, a tour to Ramadi, uh, Iraq. Uh, that was my first deployment. Second deployment was a uh, UDP deployment out to Okinawa, Japan. We were assigned, assigned to some ships out there. Uh, third deployment was a, the 11th Mew. Uh, I think that was probably one of my favorite ones. You know, we took off from a boat from San Diego and went port to port. Probably one of my favorite. And then our last one was uh, Afghanistan. Four deployments. Yeah, yeah, and then wow. we did all kinds of cool, neat things. Uh, I mean, the combat ones obviously were combat, but um, I really did enjoy my entire service. I, I did my last two years with the Marine Corps as a as a division schools instructor for uh, you know CQB training, uh, urban warfare, convoy ops, and things like that. But that was a good way to really just finish up my career and come back to civilian life. You know, we absolutely appreciate your service and and you were telling me earlier you've been on several different evo trips right yeah, so evo did uh, has uh given me the opportunity to do some whitetail deer hunting over at crab orchard in southern illinois which i would love to do again uh, just so you know guys. <laughs> just, a, just a plug there guys <laughs> um and uh a pheasant hunt which was very successful um and a salmon fishing trip uh, off of Lake Michigan. Uh, we went up to the naval base up north and uh, got a chance to get on, uh, uh, you know, they brought a whole armada down of stuff, you know. So it was, it's been good so far. I have enjoyed everything that Evo has had to offer. I mean, they're a good group of guys that want to get veterans outdoors and I think that's something that really appeals to a lot of us, you Absolutely. know. We drop our packs and don't know, you know, what it is sometimes there's a void in there that we don't know what it is yeah. and, 
and sometimes it's you know you dropping. pick up pick up a bow or pick up a shotgun or yeah. pick up a fishing pole and all of a sudden it's dropping like, in somewhere at yeah. like you know two hours before the sun comes up I, you know i enjoy all the prep work the gear everything and i think that's really what a lot of our us veterans are miss is just the you know the task at hand or the mission that we're about to uh, take off on, you yeah. know, so I, you know, they talk about how when you, like I said, when you get out, you drop your pack, uh, and that pack is, you know, your military service. After that, you know, where, where else can you find your pack? Some people find it in, in the work that they do for in a civilian career, raising kids, whatever, you know, and some of us, you know, we, like I said, we have this little bit of something that's missing and it's just, so I that's think, awesome. uh, the camaraderie of hunting, um, uh, the pursuit of knowledge, and something that's you know tactical adjacent, I guess. You know, and and I found that with every veteran trip that I've done, mm -hmm. there's there's an appreciation for catching big fish mm -hmm. or you know doing that kind of stuff. There's absolutely a camaraderie, but the, what you just mentioned, there's an appreciation for knowledge, for learning. Mm -hmm. Hey, I came in this morning with X amount of knowledge, and at the time I left, I gained more knowledge about fishing and that, those are the comments that I'm hearing most mm -hmm. is that there's really an appreciation for man I learned how to skip a skip a, a wacky rig cinco or I yeah. learned this or I learned that or whatever and I've just seen that across the board I mean my casts have gotten a little tighter absolutely well, <laughs> they've gotten a little tighter I I said that about you uh, uh, that that was one of my go ahead let's yeah. let's see one of those casts <laughs> nice we I said that about you you really we're casting pretty well from the get-go. So I, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you that they aren't getting better, but you were doing a pretty good job right off the bat. I appreciate that. <laughs> so one thing that I, I want to share with you, because uh, this video will probably be coming out when we're doing this, and I've told this story before, but when I was younger, we used to do out, my, a buddy of mine and I used to do outdoor shows, and we would do casting contests for kids and uh -huh. things like that for a little bit older kids, but the young little kids, we needed something for them to do. And so we used to do what's called a bobber pull. I don't know if you ever seen one, No, but a it's bobber? bobber pull. You know, you, you take a big vat of, you know, like a big tub, you put a bunch of little bobbers in it and the little kid comes and sticks his hand in, in pulls out a bobber and there's a prize. He's got one. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> And that's how it's been all day. And that's well, how, that, I, I, you, there's been a lot of those, <laughs> absolutely. Um, so you, you pull out Bobber and there's a prize in there, you know, a candy bar or a, or a bait or maybe a kid's tackle box, something like that, right? right? So the kids have this little game, you know, it's called a Bobber pull. So watch that bait now because you're, you're good, but remember there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, logs and branches there. So it's a good place to fish, but keep, keep, a tight line to feel for it. Um, we are going to do the world's largest bobber pool. I have a swimming pool at my house and we've gotten bobbers, big musky bobbers donated and we are going to fill the pool with bobbers and what we're doing is we're raising money for Evo. Oh, so cool. for five dollars you can donate, you go on, on the GoFundMe page, which I'll have a link on this. You go to the GoFundMe page. You, If you donate $5, not you, but if a person donates $5, they get one bobber. If they donate $50, they get 10 bobbers, okay? Okay. If, if they're one of the first $500 donated, I'm matching the first 500. So if a person were to donate $10, they're getting two bobbers, but then I'm going to match $10, and they get another two bobbers for the $10 that I match. So they, they get four, four different bobbers, and we're going to have different prizes like a rod and reel combo, uh, core tackle baits, all sorts of different prizes, including a ton of consolation kind of prizes like hats and t-shirts and co coffee cups and things like that. Here's the big part. So this bobber pull in the pool, Bo and I, when we do this, we're going to have like a dinner party. We're all going to be dressed in suits, suits and ties, fancy it up, champagne, hors d'oeuvres. And when the time comes, 
I'm going to jump in off the diving board with my suit and tie on and pull out the winning bobber. And then Bo is going to jump in and pull out the second place. And hopefully Ryan can pull out third place. So all right. We're hoping to have a great time with it. And we'll give you all the information later on in this video, you know, so that people can donate. We'd absolutely love for you to donate to Elite Veteran Outfitters. It's on, there's going to be a GoFundMe page that we put out. And like I said, one bobber for every $5 you donate. And if you're one of the first $500 uh, dollars of donations, I'm going to match it. And you get a bobber for my matching contribution as well. I'm definitely going to be. Well, I appreciate I, that. I think, and, I think and, any way to support Evo would be a great thing to do. Like I said, I mean, I know they have uh, quite the vision for, you know, better things to come for the veterans. I mean, I'm not saying that you know, everything that they've helped me get on, whether it's deer, fish, or pheasant, has been very enjoyable. Because at least, and my wife appreciates it too, because, you know, I come back home you know, <laughs> a lot more relaxed, a lot more. You know. Excellent. <laughs> Well, did you have a good time today? Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> I can't, cool. You know, these are the events that I look forward to, and I hope I could, if not participate in, find a way that I can volunteer to help these events happen more often, you know? It's well, not always about receiving. It's always about, you know, you have to give back, I, you and, know? And I was just going to say, that, you know, two things that I want to say to you is, number one, thank you again for your service, and number you. two, I have yet, including this trip with you, I have yet to go on a trip with a veteran where I don't, I felt like I had as good a time, if not better, <laughs> than the veteran had with me. So I really appreciate it. And we had a great day and we still got time to catch maybe one more five pounder. I hope so, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's so. get back to work then, okay? All right. All right, thank you. Oh yeah. Easy, easy. There you go. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll grab it. Yeah. This is the part that really trips me out. All right. Nice. Another good one. <laughs> like that. Getting the hang of this, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> but he's landed. It's good. I'm on the fish. There you go. That's right. Good job. Thank you, sir. Ready? Okay. Yep. See you later, everybody. Thanks again. Ha, ha, ha.